a sea of green. Let's hope November is exactly the same. Hello there, welcome back to the channel for Club 6, episode 15 of Hall of Famer here on Football Manager 2023. And yes, same day as I'm recording this video as the previous one, and we still have the ongoing issue with Frankie the Dog. Um, just a quick pop date, I guess you could call it. It's what we've called them, really, the last few years, whenever I've had a, like, a little situation with one of the dogs. Um, there's not really much of an update, because he's pretty much just the same. Uh, you know, um, earlier on today I had to take him out for a walk, which really did cheer him up. But the last couple of hours has just pretty much been the same as what he was um, back last night, earlier on this morning. So, um, still ongoing. Um, not sure. I mean, he's eating well and he's drinking. And, yeah, as far as I know, he's like going outside and having, you know, bits and bobs as normal. So... I don't know, obviously it's something we'll continue to monitor, and he's not currently had his uh, WASH yet, so not sure whether I'll do that today or tomorrow, but yeah. Um, we've got a game here against Celtic away from home, and then we're playing Manchester United as well in this video, and then next video we're going to be doing Watford and PSG. Now, the main reason why I want to show you Watford is because they have been absolutely bang in form so far this season. They're our closest contenders in the... Um, League at the moment, uh, they've played a game less, four points behind us, so uh, a win against us in the league, and they could overtake us, quite frankly. Uh, now, um, their recent results have been absolutely incredible. Like us, they had, I mean, will it allow me to actually go back and do that again? That's a bit better. They also had a fully green October, which included wins at Chelsea, and then two games at home to Liverpool. One was in the Carabao Cup uh, fourth round, and the other was at home in the Premier League. And they've been incredible. Um, Sissoko is doing an incredible job there, and... Um, Yes, I am very pleased with how they're doing. I mean, we play them soon, so we have to show you that, absolutely. But uh, other than that, not really much else to tell you other than the fact that we have made an, another offer for Eduardo from Villarreal. Now, we do really need another central midfielder because obviously we're using too many more in defensive midfield and... Yeah, we can't really rely on Kabides all that lot, can we? So we've made an offer for Eduardo. I'm hoping it will go through. I'm pretty sure we can sign him because we haven't signed many under-21 uh, overseas players. At all, really, since we took over here at Man City. <laughs> One or two, possibly. And also, as I'm recording this, it's currently... 316, not Stone Cold Steve Austin, but um, th uh, 16 minutes past three in the afternoon. And of course, I'm recording this on a Saturday, which obviously means the football is on. Now, it is Easter, so um, it's only the Premier League at the minute. Championship was played yesterday. And uh, I guess over the course of this video, maybe the next video, I will be keeping you updated on how those games are going as well. I know for you, these games would have been played already weeks, maybe months ago. I generally don't know when this is going to be coming out. Uh, on my schedule and in terms of what's going to happen after this uh, series finishes I don't know what's going to be happening because obviously we've got the other series the White Hawk Way um, I do have a I do have a slight idea what I'll be doing but you know I don't want to say it and then change my mind again because you guys know I do have a tendency to do that a lot uh, but the only um, game I can really bring you up to speed on now is the Tottenham Brighton game where Spurs are winning 1-0 so, um, and that's literally it. That's all I can say at the moment in terms of that football. But for this football, let's hope we can um, we can uh, do the business. Now, I realise they did not actually introduce the team to you either. So, um, yeah, we'll probably be just getting an introduction next game. Heatley, or oh, it's been had a clear. Tushmani tries to head it on, but it's cleared and Ruiz heads it on. Thankfully, to absolutely no one. He, I mean, he could have just played that himself. Sola, Vidovic, Vidovic back to Halux, across to Vidovic, back to Halux, Tushmeni, yeah, the ball now with Haaland, Haaland loves lovely ball into Heatley, and Heatley tucks it home, a wonderful finish, and we have taken the lead. Now the other dog's complaining, what's the matter? You hungry? You might be hungry actually, Eric. Eric might be hungry, ladies and gentlemen, he might be hungry. So, um, maybe I cut the clip at half time, put some food down for him, and uh, go from there. Actually, or oh, I could just do it now while this game's playing out. 
and you guys can hear me from a distance, I guess. Right, what we got here? Sola on the ball. Still on the ball. Gives it back to Pino. Lovely ball to Molinas. Heatley. Oh, and Haaland with an open goal and he scores. It makes it 2-0. That one's not going to VAR. Why don't you do what you did yesterday and attack him? There we go. Alright, Eric, if you want that, go ahead, darling. Alright, there we go. That's food put down for the dog. Harm's on the ball. 35 minutes on the clock. And we need 2-0. Oh! Molinas denied a, denied a wonderful goal. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you food? Okay. Literally, Frankie's barely responding to anything at the minute. I don't know what to say. Oh, that was close there by Heatley. I mean, I'm not really 100% sure if I'm really in the mood to be recording at the minute because obviously, obviously the dog obviously takes priority. But you know, I'm not seeing him. Oh, Heatley's in here. It's blocked. Vidovic deflected and over. Is it to do with a doggy wash? See, a lot of the time when I talk to him, he does put his ears up like he is actually listening to me. And just then, he actually did it again. Are you ready? See, the term... I the <clears> these <throat> offside. The terms that I come out with is just to sort of get his attention and, and everything. So, if you hear me talking to him throughout the videos, then that'll be why. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm satisfied with how things are looking at half-time. 2-0 over Celtic. Now, we did have a bit of a slow start in the Champions League with those two draws. Oh, Christ, that was close. And thankfully, we beat Slavia Prague. Sparta Prague, Slavia Prague, one of them. And uh, we're currently winning at uh, Celtic here, which is good. And that should lift us up a little bit. So we're in 10th now, if things stay as they are. Excuse me. You're really good. Pardon me. Right, is it time for a sub? Possibly. Not yet, though. Heat Lee whips it in. Oh! And that again, very close. Alright, two Schmeni could do with coming off there for Kabides. So he'll come on there. Uh, Vanna, I guess, could come on as well uh, for Vidovic. And uh, Heat Lee could do with coming off as well. So uh, Van der Vlag can come on. Did I say Van der Vlag? Van der Vlag? I don't know. I have no idea. He's like Frankie is still barking when we like have a knock at the door or something. So I don't I don't know. It's just it, it's just a weird one because you very rarely see him in a not a, well yeah like a bad mood. You very rarely see him like that. Patillo's in here for Celtic and he scored and uh, he's not celebrating, which I guess is very kind of him. So I guess that's kind. 2-1 uh, now. Obviously, I would really like to hold on to this result because uh, this is the kind of game we really do need to win. If we're going to qualify in the top eight for the Champions League, that would be ideal. Uh, we're going to bring Gross on as well, I think. And we definitely need a change in personnel at the back. So Sola is going to be coming off and Livramento on. And Gross on for Haaland, of course. It's an easy change, really. Uh, Halux across to Ruben Diaz. Rumi Diaz hurls it forward and Killian Gross is onside here. Killian Gross. Oh, Killian Gross has done so well. Oh, but, oh, God, maybe not. He did so well to round the keeper and then he just gave up. He was like, oh, I've scored now. I was like, no, you haven't. Oh, what a tit, honestly. Right, Livermento in, gives it to Killian Gross. And Killian Gross has scored. Lovely. Oh, West Ham are taking the lead against Fulham. I could see this result happening, you know. Fulham... I've been a little bit of free fall recently, the last few games, and not really played that well. I mean, they're more than safe from relegation at this point, but yeah, West Ham taking the lead or winning there, I would not be surprised one bit if they did. <clears throat> I 
Because West Ham shouldn't really be where they are, should they? Oh, we've got a little bit of growling on in the background with the dogs. Uh, Kelly and Gross has got the ball again. Kelly and Gross again. Oh, and that was close. Eric thinks he's a duck as well. So if you ever hear quacking in the background, that'll be him. Oh, Salzburg are beating Chelsea. Nice. And we have beat Celtic. So very, very pleased with that result. Uh, dominating performance, really. 29 shots on goal, 11 of those on target, an XG of 3.81, which is pretty damn tasty. I'm very happy with that. Nice work. And uh, let's hope for more of the same away against Man United. Now, we mentioned about uh, Watford. Their only defeat so far has been away against Manchester United, and we're going there next. So um, let's see how we get on. I know by now that I can't go a whole video without introducing the team because of the goalkeeper. That's literally it. Uh, Football-wise, the only thing I can update you on is the fact that Wolves have uh, taken the lead against Chelsea through uh, Mateus Nunez. <laughs> Lord, Frank Lampard back at Chelsea. Oh, dear, dear, dear. So, for this game away against Manchester United, we are going with... Rada in goal. Uh, Marinkovic, Cuomo, Sola and Libramento at the back. Cabido, Tushmeni and Vanna in midfield. Heatley and Pino on the wings. And, of course, that man, the myth... The man, the machine, Erling Haaland up front. Let's see what we can do. Come on. <clears throat> I mean, if it helps, Motherwell are leading 2 0 against Livingston, and Kevin Van Veen has scored both. I just thought I'd update you on that. Why the hell not? Um, oh, we're playing against Allegri again. I completely forgot he was in charge of Man United, to be fair. But uh, there we go. I mean, they're really out of form, aren't they? Uh, Vepna is on the bench. First time reunited with him for a while. <coughs> Pardon me. don't remember seeing him on the pitch last couple of times we played Man United. I genuinely can't remember, to be honest. But there's Aaron's for Man United. Di Carlo goes back to Rica no, Moroto. I thought it was Ricardo for some reason. Uh, Man United on the ball two minutes in. Radinkovic for them. Goes back to... I'm assuming that's Max Arons. Casadie. Oh, wow. That was uh, that was close. That was very close. I mean, I know Man United are in a bit of a... Bit of a crap situation. But we still can't take them lightly. Because it is still Manchester United. You know, we definitely can't take her off the ball. I mean, comparing it to the White Hawk way at the minute. Man United are struggling in that save as well. Um... I, literally, for me, I think I've just started season four in my whole way. Um, I've recorded a few videos on here since then. But I did have a mad rush on those for some reason. I was just really into the save. Remy Pino whips it in. Oh, it's at the crossbar. Uh, very unlucky for Tushmeni there to not uh, open the scoring. Uh, Sola, uh, Ruben Diaz. I mean, I guess that's fine. We can live with that. But Man United on the ball here again. Whipped it in. It's headed towards goal, and it is over. Right, let's uh, hit the encourage button, uh, because that's exactly what we need at the minute. It's hard to say. Are we all right with it? Oh, Brighton equalised at Spurs. Nice. Lewis Dunk. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. Um... Don't know it from what I've seen because we're not winning. I mean, I think we have still been the better team. And that does go without question. But um, but yes, this could be better. Much better. Could have scored a few goals. You know, let's do it like we did against Liverpool. I mean, the way things are looking, we may actually swap to that tactic now. Take Kabidas off. Bring Gross on. And I think Vidovic needs to come on for Heatley as well. Tushmeni really does need to come off as well, so we'll make that change. Oh, you're just as bad there, aren't you? Uh, what about box to bo I mean, box to box, you're not as good either. Uh, no, you know what? We'll just leave it at that, I think. There's another three changes made. Cuomo for Halux, I mean... I mean, I guess we've got to do it, really. We've got another highlight here. Liveramento, Ruben. Van out back to Liveramento now. Liveramento tries to put it over the top. It's intercepted. Can we win this ball back? Of course we can. Gross back to Ruben. Foden now over the top for Erling Haaland, who I think is offside. 
I'm pretty sure he's offside. That's why I'm not celebrating. Oh, it does count. Come on. I thought I was offside. Wow. Get in. Just swap them two over, can't we? That's fine. I was thinking of taking Haaland off, but... No, not now. <laughs> and I think... Have we got internationals after this, or have we just had them? I genuinely cannot remember. I genuinely cannot remember. That uh, equaliser for Brighton is going to stand, so it is 1-1 between them at Sp and Spurs. Really good result for them if they can get away with a point. But then again, it's not even half time yet. So what am I doing? What am I saying? But this will be a really good result for us. I know Man United are still in this horrible position. But it's still Man United, like we just said. Ruben Diaz on the ball. Out to Vanna. Out to Ruben Diaz again. Cuomo, who Van der Lag is off. That was offside. Now that was definitely offside. Yep. I got this one right. 50%. Both of them went to VAR checks, and uh, I got one of them right, so there we go. There we go. But hopefully, I will still hold on to this 1-0 win. I think over the over the game, we do deserve the win here, and thankfully, that's exactly what we get. A deserved victory. We weren't perfect by any means. We still had 19 shots on goal. Only six of those were on target, which I was a little bit, a little bit frustrated by that. But, oh no, Bournemouth have scored against Leicester. Oh, God. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I know we're still in the first half and everything, but... Oh, Christ. Philip Billing as well. Oh, good God. Oh, God, I really feel for them at the minute. I mean, I know I'm a Coventry fan, but, you know, you have to admire what Leicester did back in 2015, 2016. Oh, wow. <laughs> we cost the Man United manager his job. <laughs> oh, excuse me. A uh, couple of injuries there <laughs> yeah, for a few days, but Allegri has been sacked by Man United. Oh, wow. That's mad. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. We cost the Man United manager his job. That's awesome. It's a bit like when um, Tommy Tuchel got sacked at uh, FC United when we beat them. Oh wow! I remember that. Uh, I remember that very well. Remember that very well indeed. Right. Um. Not really much to tell you in terms of what has happened in the next video because you should already know. I mean, I know it's literally two weeks away because yes, I did remember we do have internationals coming up, which I thought so. So that is absolutely fine. But yes, Watford and PSG in the next video, guys. Hope to see you there. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you drop a like. And please, 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 please hit that subscribe button if you do happen to be new. And I will see you again very soon. Thanks again.